Hi everyone, welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Wang Houyuan with Xinhua News Agency. I am now at the port of Qingdao in East China's Shandong province. Being one of the world's busiest ports in terms of cargo throughput and container throughput, in the first quarter of 2023, the Qingdao port saw its cargo throughput up 4.2% year-on-year to reach 164 million tons, and its container throughput up 12.2% year-on-year to hit over 6.62 million 20-foot equivalent units. Where I'm standing right now is a container terminal of Qianwan area at the port of Qingdao. With our camera, you could see the bustling scene at the port. The port of Qingdao commenced operations in 1892, so actually it is 131 years old now. The port of Qingdao is an important hub for international trade and transportation in the West Pacific, and it is one of the world's largest comprehensive ports. According to data released by the Institute of Shipping Economics and Logistics, it is the seventh of the ten busiest ports in the world, considering total cargo volume. The port of Qingdao contains four major areas, including Qianwan area, which we have mentioned before. Their services include loading, unloading, storage, and logistics for containers and other cargoes like coal, iron ore, crude oil, grain, and etc. The port of Qingdao also offers international passenger services. At present, the top 20 container liner companies in the world have opened direct routes in the port of Qingdao. Also, this port has more than 230 liner routes for international containers. Now, in every 1.2 seconds, there will be one container loading or unloading on the ship in Qingdao port. So you could imagine how many containers have been loaded or unloaded while I'm giving you this introduction. I'm now joined by Tian Xu Ye, the operation manager of Qingdao Qianwan Container Terminal Cooperation Limited. Hi, Mr. Tian. Could you please give us a brief introduction of the Qianwan area of this port? And uh, where are all these uh, ships at the port mainly from? And uh, what are the uh, main goods that the port exports, exports to the world?您现在所在的位置呢是我们山东港口青岛港前湾集装箱码头与现实公司它是世界上最大的单体集装箱码头公司之一那么每年呢有源源不断的大量的货物呢从我们这里出口到世界各地啊我们整个前湾港区呢占
the uh, the Qianwan area uh, takes about 90% of the total uh, containers exported to the world. Currently, the main shipping lines are heading towards Europe, Southeast Asia, Japan and South Korea and the United States. Exports of household goods, mechanical and electrical products, engineering vehicles and new energy vehicles increased. What is the freight volume of the port so far? 呃，就是目前咱们这个港口的吞吐量的大概的情况是怎么样的？麻烦您给我们介绍一下。呃，今年一季度，山东港口青岛港吞吐量是二百二十六百六十二万 TEU， 同比增长了百分之十二。那么其中呢，我们今年的这个码头有一个非常显著的特点呢，就是我们码头的空腔的比例在下降。那么与我们去年的最高峰相比啊，我们降低了百分之四十。不仅我们的空腔比例在下降，我们出口的重箱的量也在增长。从现在看，我们每周啊做一辆超过两万箱的船舶啊，每周都会有。还有一个变化呢，就是我们去年着力打造空腔调拨基地，今年以来每个月从青藏港调往宁波、上海、天津、大连等国内港口的空箱都是数千箱以上。这些这些现象呢，都是表明了我们整个港口的经济。和我们整个国家的出口的经济形势的向好，以及当地的用箱的需求在持续的增长。呃，我们今年以来呢，也采取了一些啊，针对于经济上采取了一些，这个采取了一些我们的一个做法。那么，比如说有的时候啊，这个货物啊。刚刚到港口，那么客户啊就希望马上要提货，对于货物货物的这些实现性的要求呢，也非常的高。呃，针对呃 ，so far this year the terminal's empty container rate is about forty percent lower than the same period last year. Uh, what's more, the container load of ships is also increasing. Ships with a capacity of 20,000 tons, uh, ships with a capacity of 20,000 TU can be seen every week, which is also a sign of economic recovery. In the first quarter of uh, in the first quarter of this year, uh, Qianwan area have added uh, four new routes this year. At present, foreign trade routes remain popular, which shows the stability and vitality of Chinese economy, especially import and export. Uh, sometimes some merchants want to pick up the goods immediately after the goods arrive at the port. Uh, 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 the third question is: What have you prepared to cope with the uh, increase in trade? 就是说，目前为止，为了就是应对这样的一个呃业务的增长的这样的一个态势吧。呃，您这边有没有做什么应对的措施？呃，第一个呢，我们也是发挥了山东港口一体化的改革的优势啊，我们大力这个充分的发挥了我们日照烟台、渤海湾港的一些航线，包括它的一些堆场。第二个呢，我们也是联合政府海关一起加快了通关的效率，实现了货物的进港直提、出口直装、海铁联运。同时，为了实现了双碳目标，我们也是构建了环黄渤海支线网络，实现了公转铁、公转水，加快了货物运运流的速。To cope with this, our group not only focuses on advancing the reform of port integration, but also works with the government and customs to speed up customs clearance. At the same time, we've built a branch network around the Yellow Sea and Bohai Sea to make contributions to our country's dual carbon goals. Okay, thank you, Mr. Tian. making breakthroughs in expanding container routes. 
the port of Qingdao has also upgraded its multimodal transportation system with 31 inland port stations and 70 sea rail transportation freight trains. In addition to traditional port, there is an automated container terminal in Qingdao port. We've earlier visited there, so let's take a look. In addition to traditional port, there is an automated container terminal in Qingdao port. That is the first fully automated one in Asia, which has been put into operation since 2017. Last week, the automated container terminal broke a new record with its loading efficiency by a single crane. In 24 hours, a single crane handled 1,192 TEU. 19% higher than the performance of similar ports. With our drone camera, you could see that the containers here are fully controlled by machines and advanced technologies. This automated terminal has four berths running along the coastline and spanning about 1,320 meters. Right now, a ship traveling for foreign trade is berthing at the automated terminal. It can hold 12,000 TEU. This is the exchange area on land with a track. Now we can see the container is delivered from the exchange area to an AGV, i.e. automated guided vehicle. The vehicle is now grasping the container to the platform.
Apparently, the key crane is lifting the container and putting it on the ship. This is Wang Zisheng, Deputy Manager of Operation Department of Qingdao Nu Qianwan Container Terminal Corporation Limited. Hi, Mr. Wang. Could you please give us a brief introduction of this terminal and what are the uh, advanced technologies that are applied in this terminal? Uh Tao 同时这个在这个安全方面自动化码头把这个也是应用了这个天对天气的一些检测和一对这个场地的一种这种灭火的一些这种方案提高了整个码头的安全可靠性This fully automated terminal is independently developed by Shandong Ports Group, which applies frontier technologies such as hydrogen-powered automated rail crane, 5G, machine vision and three-dimensional visualization operation and maintenance platform. It can save more than 80% of manpower and the work efficiency of the port is more than 50% higher than the similar foreign terminals. Blockchain technology can also be applied in smart ports. 
based on blockchain, it becomes possible to obtain the information of entire shipping process on real time, improving the shipping efficiency. Meanwhile, automation also improves safety facilities, including a weather monitoring system and automatic fire extinguishing system have provided greater safety assurance for container terminals of the port. And Mr. Wang, what is the operating situation of the terminal right now? Uh, Wang Jingli, can you give us a simple explanation 这个码头的运运行情况吗？呃，现在码头是这个靠泊了四艘船舶在报作业，呃，都是来自这个欧洲啊、中东、非洲国家的航线，呃，目前装卸量吧，都这这个最大的船吧，我们看到的是装卸在一万两千标准箱。呃，整个这个这个今年以来看吧，我们整个的这个效率，包括作业箱量吧，船舶量啊，都是有一个明显的提升。呃、uh, ，there are currently、uh, four ships berthing,、uh, heading to Europe and Africa.、Uh, this year, the number of vessels, the amount of operations, and the density of operations have increased significantly. Equipment maintenance can only be carried out in the clearance of ships. And what's the achievement of the terminal in the first quarter of this year? And what's the future prospect of the terminal? 呃，王经理，就是呃，目前这个今年第一季度，在这个自动化码头已经就是呃取得了一个什么样的呃成果？然后未来呃这个自动化码头的一些发展规划是什么？麻烦您给我们介绍一下。这个自动化码头，我们第一季度吧实现吨吐量同比增长百分之四点二，百分之四点二，呃，新增了两条两条航线，未来还有两个泊位要投入使用，全部这两个泊位我们将全部实现系统自主国产化。As for this automated terminal, the throughput in the first quarter increased by 10.2 percent. Two new shipping routes were added to the port. In the future, two more berths will be put into production, and all of them will realize independent localization of the system. Thank you for this interview, Mr. Wang. Welcome back. After visiting the automated container terminal, we know better how advanced technologies are significantly enhancing the efficiency of port operation. And the hustle and bustle at the port of Qingdao offers us a glimpse into China's robust foreign trade and how it helps inject new impetus into the global economic recovery. Now we are about to wrap up today's Xinhua Life. Thank you for watching and see you next time.